Hello, hello. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good, good evening. evening. How are you today? Hello, Elisa. Hello, Sandra. Hello, Gloria. Hello, Saul. Welcome, everybody. How are you today? Do you like this weather? This cold weather? Hello, teacher. Hello, Gloria. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. I'm cold. <laughs> yeah, it's very cold. I had to put on my jacket also. Is it raining where you live? Yes, it's still raining. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's raining where I live as well. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, get started. I would like for us to do a little review about yesterday's class. Can you tell me some of the questions that you remember from yesterday's class? Or what were some of the activities that you remember? Who can tell me? What activities do you remember from yesterday's class? Do you remember any of the questions? Nobody? We had 30 questions. Okay, let me share some of the questions with you. Uh, can everybody see the questions on the chats? What's the best thing that has happened to you this month? Can you see the questions? Yes. Yes, I can see. Okay. Uh, Sandra, please ask the questions and Gloria respond to the questions uh, and then vice versa. Gloria will ask the questions and then Sandra responds to the questions. I want you to ask the questions one through 10. One through 10. So we're going to have- four. Uh, yeah, number four. No, no. Questions one through ten. De uno al diez. I want you to ask yeah. the questions to Gloria, and Gloria is going to respond. Yeah. What's the best thing that's happening to you this month? What is something you're tired of? Uh, no, una la vez. Ella la escucha y la contesta. Gloria, can you hear Sandra's question? Yes. Well, okay. in my case, the best, the best thing that happened to me this month, it, it would be that I paint some pictures for my clients. Okay. Good business. And Good yes. <laughs> And uh, what about you? Uh, no, the next question. Sandra asked the question and Gloria ah, responded. Okay. Number two, what is something you're tired of? Something that uh, I'm tired of. Um, well, I study in University of El Salvador, and I ha I study in online classes. Uh, it's a little difficult for me to learn in online classes. Okay, good, excellent. Question number three. Sandra? What is something that's recently move, uh, moved you? 
Um, something that recently moved me. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe a movie, a song, an animal, a pet, child, your mom. Uh, my pet. I had a little dog and she was 10 years old and she oh. died uh, the last month. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear about your loss. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah, I know that's that's difficult. I understand. Okay, question number four, Sandra. If you could teach one subject in school, what would it be? A, sub a subject that um, I could teach arts and crafts because I like creativity, I love to paint, and I love to draw and to create new things. Very good. Next question, Sandra, question number five. What's your favorite beggars? I like hot, hot chocolate. Excellent. Especially in this weather. <laughs> yeah, this weather is necessary. Chocolate, hot chocolate with pupusas is the best. Yes, or hot coffee and sweet bread. <laughs> oh, yes. I like Oreo cookies. <laughs> Me too. All right. Thank you, Gloria. Okay, so now we're going to switch roles. And Gloria, I want you to ask the question and Sandra respond to the questions. I want you to start from question number seven and work your way down. I think this, it says seven, six, seven. So just imagine that it says six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. What what is your favorite cake? My favorite cake is a pie. Apple. Apple pie. Uh, cheesecake. Yes. Yes. Oh, so delicious apple pie. It's very delicious. Yes. Okay. Next one. What is your favorite movie? I have a lot of movies. But I try uh I want and uh, maybe the Holy Week is my favorite movie. Oh nice, nice. With Mel Gibson. Yeah. <laughs> it's very yeah. good. Yes. Okay, the next question. Next one. What is something you can do? Um, I can um, try a car, and I can sing. Okay. Only that. All right. The next question. What is one habit you wish you could break? Break. Um. I wish to, um, I will try to think in, in, in English because uh, always when I speak first, thinking in Spanish translate, then I speak in English. It's oh, a bad yeah. habit I yeah, have. <laughs> yeah. We got to break that habit. We got to break that habit. Yeah. Okay, okay, good, good. Very good. Next question. What makes you love no matter what? Um, when I have a, a, any problem in my family and my work, I prefer a uh, love and then no cry. <laughs> yeah. That's good, that's good. Enjoying time with the family. 
Yeah. Good. And the, the last. last one. What does creativity mean to you? I am do that with my hand and I can knitting um, a little clothes things and I do that cooking. Okay, perfect. Good. Okay, guys. Uh, right now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the next activity, which is going to be coming from section number uh, 1.12, knowledge check. Instructions, rewrite the sentences using infinitives or gerund phrases. Remember to use capital letters and periods. Uh, Elisa, number one, please. It's appropriate to tell about politics at work or school. It's appropriate. It says rewrite the sentences using infinitive or gerund phrases. Remember to use capital letters and periods. So we would say it's appropriate to talk about politics at work or school. And what are we gonna change? How can you say it? What's another way that you can say it? In this case, you could use it's appropriate talking about politics at work or school. Very good. Talking about politics at work or at school. Okay. So for this activity, I would like for you guys to work in pairs and... I would like for you to complete the exercise. Uh, if you already did it, please help your partner. If you didn't do it, uh, you can do it now. I'm going to send you guys the screenshot right now to the WhatsApp chat, just in case you guys don't have the platform available at this moment. So I'm going to also activate so that one student can share the screen. Ready, let's go. You got to click where it says join, ingresar, o entrar. Join, ingresar, o entrar. Okay, so that's the first one. And Okay, there you go. Um, I can't. I can't. But can you into the platform right now? No. 
Ahí. No. Uh -huh. Let me... Yes, it's restore to use, not using. Using or use. No, in this case, in this, in that case, uh, it would be to use. To because use. we got to change. Yes. Okay. The number three. Ask some. Or asking. No, in this case, we get to change. Ask. To, to ask. Mm -hmm, to ask. To ask someone's age is often Considered fruit. Number four. It is not unos. It's not a it's not unusual in the U.S. to address a professor by his or her first name. In this case, we get to change to address to addressing. Um, it's not use the addressing professor. Yes, it's, it's not unusual. It is it's inusual in Estados Unidos. Suerte eh, por el primer nombre. I don't know, sure. <laughs> yes, that, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Sí, pero es el único que puede ser. Uh -huh. It is not uniform the use. The it's address. the main verb. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, Addressing a professor mm -hmm. by his or her Y la primera le sale bien. Porque a mí me sale bien. Mm. Yes. I can see. About politics of global space. Mm -hmm. I creo que vamos a usar un infinitivo porque ahí está en gerundio. Ah, it's correct. Oops. 
Entonces sería It's ¿Cómo sería? If If you If to Maybe you It's to use Third time mm, Okay And the third If to use It's impolite. It's impolite to use third time. Le voy a poner el, el apóstrofe, pero veamos. No, siempre no, pues, me, siempre uh -huh. me lo manda. Ahí y son lleva una S también con apóstrofe. Sí, ya, pero ya se lo puse, fíjese. Sí, entonces sería de preguntarle bien. Sí. Veamos. La cuatro voy a intentar. Vaya, intente la cuatro. Porque todas las demás. Eh, he, he estado viendo cómo las ha mandado el teacher y así. Así las tenía. Sí. Y siempre me, me aparecen malas. La, 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 esta, la cuatro, sí, veo que la tengo diferente. Ajá.
No. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and check. We're going to go ahead and check the first one. Uh, Gloria, can you read the answer for number one, please? It's appropriate to talk about politics at work or school. It's and appropriate what... talking. Oh. Go ahead. It's appropriate talking about politics at work, uh, at work or school. Okay, very good. Or you can say talking about politics at work or school is appropriate. So that's another possible answer for number one. Talking about talking about politics at work or school is inappropriate. Good job. Thank you, Gloria. Uh, number two, Elmer. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Number two, please. Uh, I tried uh, the answer. But I have a problem because I, when I type type the the answer, uh, the the platform, uh, it's not okay. Oh really? Uh, can yes. you copy? Can you copy paste the one that I sent right now? Um, I, um, because. I copy the the sentence uh -huh. and and change in the in the um and change in the in the in the in the place the para escribir uno ah okay uh, en la plataforma and, yes y, y me da problema me me manda error Ah, ok. ¿Y qué puso? Eh, yo puse ahorita. This, um, it's impolite to use certain uh, gest gestures in some foreign countries. Excellent, excellent. It's impolite to use certain gestures in some foreign countries. That is correct. You can copy paste it like that. Uh, thank you, Elmer. Pero, pero, me da, pero me da me da este error. No, no sé por qué. Oh, really? Yes. It's, y lo puede copiar y pegar en la que le mandé en el Zoom chat. Eh, sí, sí, yo voy a, voy a intentar. Ok, thank you. Eh, number... Okay, thank you, Elmer. Number three, Ana. Hi, teacher. Hello. It is often considered rude to ask Someone eh. Very good. That is correct. Number three, it is often considered rude to ask someone's age. Eh, pueden pegar y copiar las que le mandé al WhatsApp y las que le mandé al, al chat del, del Zoom. Ese es error que tenemos que verificar nosotros, pero esa es la respuesta. Para el 3. Ok, thank you. Number 3, it is often considered rude to ask someone's age. Good job. Eh, number 
for Juan Eduardo? Okay, the number four is in the US, USA, addressing a professor be his or her first name. It's not a user. Very good. So, number four is correct. In the U.S., addressing a professor by his or her first name isn't unusual. Good job. Uh, let me have Damaris, number five, please. In many cultures, it's customary to hold friends when you get them. Excellent. In many cultures, it's customary to hug friends when you greet them. Very good. Number six, Saul. Number six. Can you hear me? Saul. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Uh, number six. In some countries, comma, uh, it inappropriate to ask strangers if they're, they're married. Excellent. In some countries, it's inappropriate to ask strangers if they are married. Good job. Okay, um, now guys, I gotta take the attendance. So when I call your name, please say present. Uh, the first person is Ana Cecilia. Hello. Is Hi. Present, good job. Ana, thank you. Carlos Roberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Cristina. Cristina is absent. Thank you. Damaris. Present teacher. Very good, Damaris. Daisy. Daisy. Okay, Daisy is absent. Elisa. Present teacher. Very good, Elisa. Elizabeth. Present teacher. Excellent, Elizabeth. Elmer. Present teacher. Good job, Elmer. Erica. Erica. Okay, absent. Gabriel. Gabriel. All right, absent. Gloria. Present teacher. Excellent, Gloria. Juan. Present teacher. Very good, Juan. Miguel. Miguel. Present teacher. Very good, Miguel. Sandra. Present teacher. Good job. Saul. I'm here. Very good. Sergio. Sergio. Is absent. Okay. All right, guys, let's go ahead and continue. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the next activity, which is going to be coming from section 1.3, lesson objective. In this class, participants will learn and practice using vocabulary to talk about social situations. 
what's appropriate. Hi, listen and read the following words and phrases. Decide if they are positive, negative, or neutral. Can everybody? A compliment, an insult, appropriate. Everybody but... Hi, yes, listen and read the following words. Yes, teacher. Decide if they are positive, negative, or neutral. A compliment, an insult, appropriate, bad form, inappropriate, normal, offensive, polite, rude, strange, typical, unusual. How do you feel about these things? Discuss the situations using the words and phrases above. One. You kiss people you meet on the cheek. Two, you and your classmates interrupt the teacher. Three, you stand very close to people when you talk to them. Four, you and your parents talk honestly and openly. Five, your best friend calls you after 11 p.m. Six, you start a conversation with a stranger on a bus or subway. How do you open a conversation? How do you close a conversation? Hope these expressions are useful for you. Useful expressions. Conversation openers. How's it going? Can you believe this weather? It's awful. That's a great jacket. Do you know many people here? Conversation closers. See you later. Sorry, I've got to run. Talk to you soon. It was great to meet you. I should get going. I'll call you later. In class with a friend, start a conversation using the expressions learned. You may also type your conversation in our discussion box. Positive, negative, or neutral? Okay, let's go ahead and uh, listen and repeat. A compliment. 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 An insult. Um, an insult. An insult. An insult. An insult. An insult. Appropriate. 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 Bad form. Bad form. Bad form. Bad form. Form. Bad form. Bad form. Bad form. Inappropriate. 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 Normal. 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 Offensive. 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 Polite. 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 Rude. 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 Strange. 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 Typical. 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 Unusual. 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 Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to come over here where it says, añade una publicación. Here, you're going to write titulo and you're going to write what's appropriate. What's appropriate. And you're going to put it here where it says titulo. And then you're going to write the words, right? For example, number one, number two, number three, and so forth. For example, the first word is a compliment. So you're going to write over here, a compliment. And you're going to put, if it's negative word, you're going to write negative. If it's a positive word, you're going to write positive. 
And if it's a neutral word, you're going to write neutral. So you're going to put positive. I mean, if it's negative, you're going to put negative. If it's positive, you're going to write positive. And if it's neutral, you're going to write neutral. Any questions? And then when you finish, you're going to send in, enviar. Enviar. Any questions? You're going to do all the vocabulary words on the section. Do you understand? Does everybody understand? Yes, teacher. Okay. We're going to work in pairs. Ready? And let's go. Thank 
Hey, teacher. Hey, are you finished? No. Not okay. yet. Not yet. Okay, okay. I I tried the 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 make the the answer in sentence. Okay, okay, that's good. Uh, uh, one example is I compliment my col colleagues in this excellent work. Okay. I compliment my colleagues on their excellent work. Very good. Good. Good example. I like, I like, I like. I, I like your shirt. Your shirt. But the mini shirt. 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 Camiseta. Oh, okay. Camisa, <laughs> Sorry. And, and, your no, shirt. Okay. It would be a compliment. It's a, it's a compliment. Yes. Okay. Um, or simple, uh, Gloria. It's positive. It's positive. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, the, the, uh, this is this positive. You get, positive. Yes, you get to write a plus. The second mm -hmm. one. It got to be an insult. <laughs> For example, your dog is dumb. For example. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, Gloria, for your examples. Thank you, Gloria. You're welcome. Good night. We okay. got all it. Thank you, Gloria. Yeah, we gotta I'm go. Teacher. We gotta go. Okay. <laughs> Oh, sorry about that. Thank you, Elisa. Um, I said, Juan Eduardo, number one, a compliment. Is that positive, negative, or neutral? Juan Eduardo. It's a positive. It's a positive. Very good. Elisa, an insult. Is that negative, positive, or neutral? It's negative. Negative. Good job. Uh, Elmer, appropriate. Elmer, appropriate. Uh, 
Okay, we can heal Elmer. Thank you. Gloria, appropriate. It's neutral. Appropriate is neutral. Very good. Saul. I'm sorry, teacher. I'm sorry because oh. I I tenía apagado el, el, el micrófono, no me había fijado. Okay. Uh, it, it, for me, it's uh, positive. It's positive. It could be positive or neutral, both. Okay, good. Thank you, Elmer. Uh, let me have Saul, bad form. Uh, what is that? Number four, bad form. Number four. Bad form. Number four. Compliment. I don't know, teacher. Okay, can somebody help him? Can somebody help for me? me? Is, for me, it's negative. Negative. Yes, negative. Bad form is negative. Good way. Good job. Uh, the next one is inappropriate. Miguel. Inappropriate. Miguel. It's negative, teacher. Negative. Good job. Anna Cecia. Eh, normal. Neutral. Neutral. Eh, Sandra. Offensive. Is negative. Negative. Damaris, polite. Uh, neutral. Neutral. Elizabeth, rude. It's negative. Negative. Carlos, strange. Um, neutral. Neutral. Elmer, typical. For me, teacher is neutral. Neutral. And Carlos, unusual. Um, unusual. Unusual. Is compliment. It's positive. Okay, no. good. I right, positive. Okay, okay, teacher. Positive. Good job. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and continue. We're going to be looking at listening exercise instructions. Listen to three conversations as a, at a party. Who is speaking in each one? A mother and her son, a teacher and her student, a woman and her son's friend. Two young students, two older friends, two co-workers, two cooks, two wives, two classmates. Talk to you soon. It was great to meet you, Pete. Anyway, I should get going. I'll call you later. So you're going to listen to the two audios. And then we're going to check as a class. We're going to change partners. You can work in pairs. One student can share the screen if you want to. Ready? Let's go. Hello. Hello. I Hello. I can share my screen. Uh, 
Me too, I can. Okay. I try try to play Do you listen it? One. Hi, are you Pete? Yes, hello. I'm Liz Morton, Tom Morton's mother. Oh, right. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Morton. You too. So, are you enjoying the party? Yeah, it's great. This might be the last time I see some of these people for a long time, so I've been pretty busy trying to make sure I get a chance to talk to everyone. You know, it's strange to think that all you kids are graduating. Do you have any plans after graduation? Well, I've applied for a teaching job overseas. I guess I'll probably find out if I got the job or not next week. You're more adventurous than Tom. I can't believe he's going to take a job right here in town. But it's a good job, I guess. And of course, I would miss him if he went far away. Yeah, I know. My mom doesn't want me to go far away either. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I think another friend of mine is leaving. Excuse me, Mrs. Morton. I need to say goodbye to him before he goes. Oh, sure. It was great to meet you, Pete. Did you hear that? Yes, I huh? listened. In number three, in among darker things. Yes, a woman and her son. Her Right, welcome back, guys. We gotta go. It's already time to go. So we're going to see you guys tomorrow. Good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. Have a good evening. Bye bye. Good night, Elisa. Good night, Saul. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night, Juan Eduardo. Good night. Good night, Elmer. Good night, Carlos. See you tomorrow. Good, Good night. night, teacher. Good night, you tomorrow, teacher. teacher. Good night, Damari. Bye, teacher. Bye. -bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. See you tomorrow.